Well, welcome to Community First Church of God. And you're, if you're with the Warm Conference and you're joining us, uh, this is for you. Uh, we are celebrating next month, April 30th, the fifth anniversary of the fire of this church. And now five years later, we have the foundation poured. We have the steel structure up. The roof is on and the walls go up next week. But it's been five years of up and down. We've had to take an insurance company to court. Uh, we've had uh, a, our first general contractor uh, defraud the church of a lot of money. And we've had to relieve a general, uh, an architect. So, when the fire happened five years ago, this cross was in the middle of the fire and did not burn. It's charred on the back side. You can even see some fresh wood. And now, nobody can explain how a wooden cross survived a fire right up in front on the stage in the heat of the fire. And if I don't have an explanation for that, I certainly don't have an explanation of why a paper Bible did not burn, but the Bible was seared open to Job 18, and three weeks after the church burned, and the church was the first of 14 fires, the arsonist came back and burned the parsonage. And that was the day uh, federal authorities took me into the building and showed me the cross and the Bible, and four news channels have done a piece on both the cross and the Bible. This is God's hope. This is a message to us. God is still God, and we've been a better church since the fire, and I'll tell you more about that. So just come on, follow me. We're going to meet some people. The week it goes out to pick up food from various places and distribute food to communities. Today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, people show up here, parking lots are full. This is a typical scene, and so people in the community are receiving their groceries, and we thank God we fill this truck up daily, at least once, sometimes twice. God bless you. Hi, everyone. To meet Susan. This is uh, this is Susan. She runs our pantry. We're here right now with our truck. Say good morning, Susan. Good morning. So we this is our pantry, and we unload this truck that we uh, are uh, are filled with food today. And we, we, we restock our pantry, and we have all these people that are waiting for food. So we will stock the pantry, and then we will share with what we have left. So here we are. This is, the, this is our volunteers. We're there praying before we unload the truck. And they give all the glory to God. So we just thank you for them, and we just thank you, Lord, for all your abundant provision. And we ask you to bless the people who receive this food in Jesus' name. Amen. So here we have our food being unloaded and being taken up to the pantry. We've got quite a bird here. So here are the people that we're serving. Every week they come, they line up and just wait for us to unload the truck. Kitty, kitty, kitty. These are our faithful volunteers. These people over here are from Highland Palms, which is a senior community. They, uh, we serve over 500 people. We live in, 500 people live there, and they serve over 150 people. So we just thank you for what they're doing. Hey, my. Hey, what's up? This is Pastor Mike and Kim, and this is my uh, neighbor to the right, Daisy Heidmeller. And these are three of the 16, 15 people who do this twice a week. Uh, collect foods here, sort it out, bring it to homes in golf carts, uh, wagons down the street. Ladies, would you just introduce yourself and give us your name, please? My name is Mary Weed. I'm Karen Waller. I'm Karen Ginter. And these are three of our 15, 16 heroes of our community that are helping shut in men and women uh, who live on limited incomes. This is a, our, our community, Highland Palms. It's about 535 homes, and they are making a difference, neighbor helping neighbor. Ladies, we thank you, and we thank everybody else who's not here. God bless you. We love what you're doing. Thank, thank you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Well, it's been five years, and you can see behind me the building is going up. 
it's being framed. The plumbers are here, they're finishing their work. The electrician is here, uh, he's finishing this phase of his work. Uh, but the most important part, and the whole story, is not the building. The most important thing is not even the 1,500 homes that we deliver food to monthly, or the 5,000 people who we feed monthly. The most important thing that's happening in Homeland, and what makes God's story, God's story, is in my neighborhood alone, six, six seniors have prayed to receive Jesus days and weeks before they passed away. And on this campus, while people have been waiting for food, there's been over a hundred people who've received Jesus. They've opened their heart, invited him in, and their lives are now in transformation. People are walking away from lives of drug addiction, of alcohol addiction, of pornography, and we see God moving in our community and becoming a community where very depressed people are seeing some hope. And so I invite you, come to Homeland visit us uh, we'll find a guest house for you in fact we'll feed you very good and while you're here we'll put you to work but if we in any way can help you and your church help your community and reach out to the world around you we'd be happy to do that enjoy the rest of the warm clinic i know i will god bless you come to homeland uh, we'll be waiting for you bye now